The three most important concepts I learned in this course was benefits versus features, brand voice and brand tone, and brand trust. The first concept is benefits versus features. Features are the parts, ingredients, and things that a product or service can do, which sets it apart from competitors. So in the benefits versus features concept, it is a necessity to turn the features into benefits to really sell to customers. The second concept is brand voice and brand tone. The brand voice is what the brand says to the consumers about the product or service, and the brand tone is how the brand talks to the consumers. The brand voice and tone need to be consistent, and it's important to convey an emotional connection with consumers. The third most important concept I learned is brand trust. As stated by Qualtrics, brand trust is the confidence that customers have in your brand's ability to deliver on what it promises to the consumer. Maintaining trust is essential in the survival of the brand. The resources I use for benefits versus features are as follows. In O'Callaghan's article, he explains how features need to be linked to benefits so that consumers know how the product will benefit them and give examples of features translated into benefits. In Woodyard's case study of the Chevrolet Impala Bifuel, he breaks down the benefits the features give the consumers, but the benefits weren't appealing to the consumers at the launch of the vehicle. The research for brand voice and brand tone is as follows. In Forrester's Forbes article, he describes the importance of the brand voice and tone while building relationships with the audience using the concepts and also explains the difference between them while explaining why they were interconnected. In the blog article on Brock content, it discusses the advantages of ensuring the brand tone is consistent and how to define the brand voice. The resources for brand trust are as follows. In the case study of Findus, the frozen ready meal brand, Brown and John explain the horse gate scandal that Findus faced because of the horse meat that was found in their beef meals and how it ruined the brand trust. In the blog posted on Qualtrics, the definition of brand trust is provided about the brand's ability to meet the promises to consumers and discusses the importance of maintaining that brand trust. For brand versus features, the concept and associated research sources were applied in this course to show the importance of translating features into benefits for consumers. I can use this in my professional life to understand the benefits a consumer can get from a feature and make sure it's relevant benefit for consumers. For brand voice and tone, the concepts and the applied research sources was to show the importance of brand voice and tone being consistent and needs to appeal to the consumer emotionally. In my professional life, I can apply this to writing print, radio, and TV advertisement. And for brand trust, the concepts and associated research sources were applied to my work to show the importance of maintaining brand trust. In my professional career, I will use what I have learned to assist brands to maintain brand trust and regain if it is damaged with customers.